Hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to access the various address books available to your account after your account has been migrated to Office 365. The first method I'm going to show you is using your desktop application, Outlook, or you can consider it Outlook 2016 or your installed software that's available from your computer. And whenever I open up an email, usually all you have to do is click on the To button, which will give you the current ability to select your address book. As you can see here, the offline global address list available to my account is currently selected. Over in the drop down here, you could certainly make additional selections and see what's available for your account. Now, if you have stored contacts or if you had uh, various dis uh, distribution groups or things that you manually created, they will be available here in this area as a drop down option or item for you. Now, in my case, the only thing I've got are additional contacts. So if I wanted to select that outside of the offline global address list, all I'd have to do is select that. You can see here that totally changed the available people and the current contacts that are in my contact list. Should I want to find someone that's in the state of Tennessee, I would want to make the selection back to the offline global address list or you could also select the global address list you should not really see any changes to that of course here you could search for the name of the person and by typing their name in the search field and also if you're looking for someone in particular I'll give you a quick little hint here if you click on the advanced find link this will give you the option to search for a display name of the person maybe you know their first name last name uh, maybe the city that they work out of all you have to do is type that in there and select OK and then it will populate the options available for you or based on the results that you are seeking We'll put them here in the option area or the uh, the display list for you to make the selection and find. And next, I want to show you using a web browser such as Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox. Just essentially, if you open up your web browser to check out a web page to check the news, to do a variety of things, that Google Chrome browser or any of the other browsers available on the market will be available for you to do this exact same process. Hope it didn't confuse you there. So all that I want to do now is I want to open my browser and I'm currently I'm in Office 365 and I'm currently in Outlook using what this is called a web browser and say if I wanted to go to Google and I know this some people do have a little challenge understanding the Google or excuse me the browser essentially if you use Google Chrome or if you use another browser it's just going, going to be the interface that allows you to go to a website so say if I wanted to go find CNBC wanted to go to their website put in their information to get to their site this specifically is the web browser this allows you to check the web and get the information that you're seeking so essentially I am using that to get to my account and I want to go ahead I want to give you a quick demonstration on using your browser to access your email and to get access to the same information that we were just in but using a different method. 
I'm gonna click on the drop down here and select email message. Now, immediately that's gonna go ahead and give you the prompt here. Once again, very similar function. All you have to do is click on the to button. That's going to pop up the available people for you to connect to based on your account and what's available for your account. Now, should I have an additional need to search for other people, maybe I have specific groups or an address book specifically for a specific group of people, all you have to do is make the selection in the ellipsis over here clicking on it it's going to expand specifically right here my contacts but then you can also select that drop down to see any other options that you may have anything that's imported in your account or available to your account and you can see here say if only my contacts were available you see that I only have a few available here and I wanted the entire directory all I have to do is click on that expander and go down to offline global address list. When I make that selection, all the people available throughout our entire directory for the District Attorney's General Conference in Tennessee will be available to you here, as well as our other groups and calendars and a variety of people available now, if you did not if you did not want to scroll through each and find so you've got multiple people that you want to send an email to all you have to do is click here in the search field type in their name in this case I just typed in the first name I pressed enter and whenever I did that that's going to populate the results based on the search that I wanted to find. So you can see here that I do have multiple people available. And in order to go ahead and add their name, all I have to do is click on the plus sign. It's gonna go ahead, add their name right up here to the top, to the to field. Wanted to add another, could do that as well. It's gonna populate all of the people with the name Michael there. Essentially, once you do that, click save, and then that's gonna add have those two contacts available in my email uh, in the to field for this email to go out to. All I have to do is complete the message and click on send and that will get that message sent out to them. Well, I hope that gives you a little kind of a quick oversight for using the address book and the various distribution lists as well as the contacts and any available address book that's available to your account. Thank you very much. Have a great day.